months ago, Jason Ellis was ambushed and killed. The Bardstown police officer had just gotten off duty and someone gunned him down just off exit 34 of the Bluegrass Parkway in Kentucky. Investigators have talked to hundreds of people and chased countless leads. Still, they have no one under arrest for killing Ellis. WCPR reporter Jessica Knoll spent hundreds of hours pouring over hundreds of public records and radio transmissions. She put together a timeline of his last days and specifically the last 24 hours of the life of this Cincinnati native, a former Reds farmhand. It, Jessica, it is fascinating to read. Uh, you're one of the only reporters to even talk to Officer Ellis's wife. What did you learn from her and that helped you put this all together? Well, I think Amy Ellis was a huge voice for Jason in this story. Um, she told me as an officer, that was his job, but his family was his life. Sure. So as you're reading it, you realize he wasn't just a police officer. He was a father. He was a husband, a son, a brother. And those people lost their, she lost her husband. She lost her she best lost friend. She partner in life, for mm -hmm. sure. And, you know, this story is told, and it's really a fascinating read. It is engaging and interesting, and partly because you tell it almost like you're writing a novel. Why? Well, I think we, we set out to do a timeline, and we wanted to do it in a narrative style. But I think it's really important to do it in a present tense uh, narrative because then you're going along that day with him. You feel like you're with him in the cruiser um, with Amy talking you to him really on the do. phone. You feel like you know him. Right. And I think that was our goal in this story was it wasn't just a typical officer down story. It was get to know the officer, the man behind the badge. Yeah, and I mean, this did not happen far away from us. It's Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, you spent a lot of time and energy on the story. I mean, a lot. Yeah. Why? Why did you want to tell this story? Well, I think, you know, he has huge connections here in the tri state. Um, and SD High School. Right, exactly. He played baseball from Little League on up through the Reds, farmhand. And I think the people here in the tri state want answers. And I think people in Bardstown want those answers as well. And to tell his story and tell the person he was was really important because at the end of the day we hope that this story is going to make people talk and the right person is going to know something and say what happened. I don't want to ruin the ending or anything like that but because um, it's really not ended but how are police in this investigation are they getting anywhere? Um, they are still um, getting leads. Um, they don't want it to be a cold case, so they're still working pretty diligently about that, and they're working with the FBI. So um, I don't know that they have a specific angle where they're working, but they are definitely on the case. All right, here's the important part. You can read Jessica's story. It's on WCPO.com right now. It, it, truly worth your time. She's also going to have a Facebook chat on her page, Jessica Knoll WCPO. That's her Facebook page at 6 o'clock tonight. And tonight on 9 on your side at 11, we have an interview with Officer Jason Ellis's wife. It should be very fascinating. Thanks so much for putting that together and coming sure. on talking about Thanks. it. Thanks.